Hi everyone, today we're talking about Californian puppies. Okay, what are Californian puppies? These are the little baby here. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so, as the name suggests, Californian puppies actually originate from America. So, what the native people use is that um, they use it for uh, analgesia. Uh, they have mild analgesia sort of effect. They have a, a mild um, sedative and anti -relax, sort of like relaxation sort of effect. And sometimes they extract and crush these and put in the milk to sedate the baby so the baby can sleep through the night. Um, so there's that that is what we use for in this modern day. We use for mild sedative. We use for insomnia. We use it for analgesia and we also use them for like flower arranging, flower arrangement or landscape sort of like, um, I don't know, if you into like, um, if you have a heart for orange flower, which I do, I have a, a really a big thing about orange, anything that is orange flower and bloom in the garden. So I'm one of those people. So it's, it's a pleasant to the eye to watch this vibrant color glow in the sun, which they are glowing in the sun. And when there's no sun, they start to falling off like this one here in the shade. And when they have a massive amount of pots, so these are the pots. See? Yeah. So, to me, that is how I love Californian puppies. So when I first uh, aware of uh, Californian sort of like puppy, sort of like property, medicinal property, I just could not resist because of the flower. I could not resist of growing them. So what I did was that I have a huge bush. It was like really big. And I popped them in one of the flowering pot with a companion to another plant that my mom grew. And um, over like the second year, I just don't know why that other plant in the same pot died. Slowly. So then I, when I pull out the Calanian Californian puppy root, I notice all this yellow sap. It's like, it's like, sort of like choking the other plant. And I notice a little black mark at the end of the root of the other plant. So it's maybe because it's poisoned the plant and slowly sedating the plant and then the plant dies. Yeah. So that come down to a, a warning sign for using these. Okay. Long duration of using these, I'm pretty sure it's going to cause like uh, toxic to your system. So if you use them, use them in a very small dose. Of course, they said that, uh, you know, uh, it's not addictive like um, a benzo uh, diazepam sort of like root. But just to be very mindful, they are on the same pathway. It does not go all the way to cause the addictive. But what you do is that use them in a small safe manner and always use them and with um, some sort of like professional or health uh, supervision okay so they're not for long-term use how do i use them i use them uh, right now is a good time to harvest you harvest the flower the pot and also the root so like i said the root they have the yellow sap so they call it's called uh, berberins so berberins is an antioxidant it's a bright sort of like yellow flute sort of color you probably say the flowers, orangey sort of flower, uh, flower head would have similar sort of like um, amount of berberin, but the actual root of the plant have a lot of them. So I attended the seminar last um, last Saturday, and they were talking about how berberins was um, used in digestive enzyme. So who know? You know, you can actually use them for digestive reason, but for me, I just like to use them for sedation, for relaxations, and sometimes to wean people off, you know, those strong sort of like antidepressant sort of stuff, or people who have sleeplessness night. So this is one of the herbs I would definitely use in the uh, alcohol tincture for. So I probably like them to use them as a tea more than uh, an alcohol tincture, because as a tea, is, is, is relaxing, is simple, and is easy to, to assess to. So this is annual, so now is a good time to harvest them. So now it's like late spring in Perth, Western Australia. You harvest a whole lot, dry them, and 
put them in a, 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 a an air seal sort of like container and then what you do is that you use them when you need them uh, or you can use them in an alcohol tincture just look at the recipe and the alcohol contents and concentration to the the plan and you can work it that way but yeah uh, I love the plan and I think it's beautiful and it's pleasant to the eyes when you're looking at it so I don't think it's it's a bad thing to keep and grow in your garden. And these are quite spready, okay? I have only like two plants last year and now it's like a whole bush. So make sure you grow somewhere that it does not, that would allow it to spread, yeah? Uh, this year I'm gonna let them grow in here, but I'm gonna remove it because this is gonna be our indoor plant area. So I'm gonna move it outdoor next year. So next year you probably, I'll make a video and it'll be growing outside. In the meantime, have a lovely day and see you.